his trainer, Bob Baffert. He's training great. He's a three-year-old. He's, uh, he's still young. He's a big baby Huey type looking horse, but he's got a lot of talent, and I really think he's the best horse in the race. General Challenge faces the laid-back South American horse, Malik. He'll try to add another big payday to his already golden resume, which includes a win at last year's $1 million Santa Anita Handicap. His trainer and jockey are one winning connection. We've become very attached to him. He's like somebody's spoiled pet. But he's also been a great competitor. He's always in the money right there in the biggest races. Well, Malik is a very special horse. He always gives 100%. And uh, we had just uh, built a great relation. The youngster faces the big boys in the NTRA Champion Series next on Fox. In the sport of racing, nothing compares to the sunny seaside ambiance of Del Mar. The cool breeze swirls through a plant that resembles an old Spanish California mission with its intimate saddling paddock. Today's Del Mar is where youthful beach bums mingle with handicapping old-timers. Those who really remember founder Bing Crosby and the gambling exploits of Jimmy Durante. In the 50s, this is where Hollywood vacationed and partied. Del Mar is all about good time music and beautiful people, where nobody is in a hurry but the horses. Fox Sports welcomes you to the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club just outside San Diego for the ninth running of the Pacific Classic for three-year-olds and up at a mile and a quarter with a purse of $1 million. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kenny Albert. Beautiful day here at Del Mar as we welcome you to the 11th leg of our NTRA Champions on Fox Series, the final race in the series, and Barron's has clinched with 46 points coming off his second place finish in the Whitney handicap. The next five in the standings are all injured or retired. Now Malik, the morning line favorite in today's race with eight points, a chance to pick up a $140,000 bonus with a victory in addition to the purse. If any other horse wins, he will earn $100,000 in bonus money. Now real quiet has dropped out so has victory gallop some more bad news for the pacific classic this week and for more on that let's head out to the barns and my partner ron ellis ron well you're right kenny on the west coast we were getting very excited about a horse called mazel trick who would have been the favorite in today's race due to the fact that he's undefeated on dirt and had this smashing victory in the san diego handicap But on Tuesday in his final prep with Chris McCarran aboard, Mazeltrick's high expectations were dashed as he fractured his right foreleg midway through the five furlong work. Feels like just the sesamoid fractures. And sesamoids carry um, most of a great portion of the weight. Most of the sporting structures, the tendons and the ligaments seem to be intact. Uh, but the injury is a, it's a life-threatening one. It can be put it that way, it can be. We'll see how he is in the next day or two, and it will probably need to be stabilized uh, surgically. On Friday, three doctors performed surgery on Mazeltrick, and we're fortunate to have one of the assisting surgeons with us, Dr. Rick Arthur. Doc, can you tell us uh, what you did on Friday? Sure. Dr. Larry Blam Bramlage flew out from Lexington, Kentucky. Dr. Jeff Playa did the anesthesia, and we put a 14-hole plate, uh, supplies wire, and 18 screws with the purpose of fusing his ankle joint. Uh, his, uh, the whole goal is to, to make the cannon bone and pass in one long bone. Hmm. Very good. And the prognosis on that, how did everything go? Oh, I'm, I'm very encouraged. He has a very good attitude. And as you know, the horse's demeanor is as important as the injury. And, and this is a very intelligent horse, and uh, I, I'm very encouraged. He looks very comfortable. Thanks, Doc. You're welcome. Well, obviously, this has been a very stressful week for trainer Bobby Frankel. And even though he has another horse in the race, Bartertown, I'm sure his constant thoughts are with the health and recovery of Mazel Trick. You know, as a trainer, we get very attached to our horses. It's not all about posing in the winner's circle. Hopefully, Mazel Trick's recovery continues to go well, and he can go on to a successful stud career in Kentucky next year. Thanks, Ron. Let's meet the field for the first time with the morning line odds. The three-year-old general challenge carrying 117 pounds. The second choice at 2-1. to one. Bartertown, 5-1. to one. 
lazy load at eight to one and Jack Grandy the long shot at 30 to one as we turn the page smile again eight to one odds River Keen at 10 to one the morning line favorite Malik at eight to five and such charisma with 20 to one odds as we welcome in the national correspondent for the daily racing forum and a guy who attended his first ever race here at Del Mar <laughs> at the age of 11 Jay Privman Jay some of the other top horses have dropped out but there are still a couple of excellent horses with big credentials Still some very good horses in this race Kenny and let's take a look at some of the history of this race maybe help us come up with a winner today Bobby Frankel and Richard Mandela two of the trainers in today's race have won six of the previous eight runnings of this race they've got three of the eight runners in today's race let's begin with our morning line favorite and that is Malik he finished third in the Hollywood Gold Cup earlier this year last time out won a stakes race at Del Mar. This is a globetrotter. He's been all over the world. He's raced on three continents against the top horses in the world. And what would a big race be without Bob Baffert? It wouldn't be a big race. Bob Baffert has to be in there, has two horses in today's race, the youngest and the oldest horses in this field. First of all, there's General Challenge, the three-year-old. He won the Santa Anita Derby earlier this year, gets into today's race with 117 pounds because he's going against older horses for the first time. That's a seven-pound weight break. Everybody else in here carries 124 pounds. Baffert's other horse in here is River Keen. He's the oldest horse in the race. He's a seven-year-old, comes off a second-place finish against Mazel Trick in the San Diego handicap last time out. And finally, Bobby Frankel's entrant in here is Bartertown. And this is a horse who Bobby Frankel was going to run even if Mazel Trick was in the race. And the fact that he has that much confidence in this horse, Kenny, tells you that he thinks a lot of him. And when Bobby Frankel thinks a lot of a horse in the Pacific Classic, you better pay heed. Well, Bobby Frankel, a Hall of Fame trainer. And for more on Bobby, let's head out to the paddock and Caton Bradar. Caton? Kenny, because of Del Mar's unique location and climate, along with the mile and a quarter distance, the Pacific Classic, a particularly difficult race to win, but you wouldn't know it from trainer Bobby Frankel. In eight previous runnings, Bobby Frankel's trained the winning horse in the Pacific Classic four times, a run that began in 1992 with Missionary Ridge and continued steadily every year through 1995. I'm joined now by trainer Bobby Frankel, who will go for win number five with Bartertown. But, Bobby, what type of horse does it take to win the Pacific Classic? Well, it takes a good horse, and it takes a horse that's ready at this time of year. You know, it's a long year, and a horse that likes this racetrack, and uh, everything has to set up right for them. And uh, we'll see today, there's a lot of nice horses in there, and uh, obviously one of them's going to win. Well, you hope to play a little different hand with Mazel Trick, but talk about him being back at the barn, and how difficult is it to focus on the race at hand and what's going on here on the front side? Well, luckily, I uh, did all the serious work with Bartertown before Mazel Trick got hurt, and uh, I didn't have to think about how to train him. Everything was done, and I'm just glad that Mazel Trick came out of the operation well and that he's going to be all right, and uh, he'll make a great, great stallion. Speaking of Bartertown, what did he show you that earned his spot here today? Well, he's a very, good, a very good horse. I thought he was a good horse last year, and he disappointed me when I brought him back to Jersey. But uh, afterwards, we found that he had uh, chips in both knees, and we operated on him, brought him back, and he won his first start. The second start, he should have won. And his last race, he ran very well, and he loves this racetrack, so I'm hoping that uh, he can perform well today. Bobby, best of luck with uh, both Mazel Tricks recovery as well as Bartertown today in the Pacific Classic. Thank you very much. Kenny? Thanks, Kate, and thanks, Bobby. The paddock area. Here at Del Mar, very busy on Friday night following the late afternoon post time, a post race concert every Friday in the summer here at Del Mar. Where the meets the turn, down at old Del Mar. Take a train, take a train, take a car. There's a smile on every face. And the winner in each race, where the turn meets the third at the Who's there? The winner! The winner, right on the low. Where have you been all afternoon? I have been count the tickets. Been at the bar, huh? Are these good? Certainly they're good. How do you like that? <laughs> 